Thank you for being with us. Our top story tonight, Pope Francis has arrived in Lisbon, Portugal, to take part in a global gathering of hundreds of thousands of young people. Un impulso di apertura universale. Addressing the country's government and diplomatic corps, the Holy Father shared his dreams for a more peaceful Europe. He also urged young people attending World Youth Day to inspire others to build together a better future. Soon after the arrival, EWTN News Vice President and Editorial Director Matthew Bunsen spoke with Professor Daniel Araza, Vice Director of the Media Center in Lisbon. Daniel, the Holy Father has arrived in Lisbon. Uh, your thoughts uh, about his arrival and the significance of this for Portugal and, and for the pilgrims who've gathered here? Well, finally, the moment has arrived, no? and there was great expectation of this trip. Uh, in Portugal, in the first place, because we have to keep in mind that the World Youth Day has been delayed because of the COVID, of the pandemic, no? and so people were really excited in, in, in seeing the Pope and having the Pope here. So it's a great significance for the country in the first place. Also for the pilgrims, this is, a, I think, a renewal of hope for many young people all over the world. We, we saw yesterday in the, in the first event uh, for the World Youth Day, there was scholars, uh, citizenships, uh, people from all over the countries, and all of them show this happiness that they will show tomorrow to the, to the Pope in the welcoming. But I think there was also great expectations among the volunteers. Keep in mind that we have almost 25,000 volunteers, many of them working for months and even years in this. When they saw the Pope, I saw volunteers crying. So that was a real an example of the expectation of the trip. Yeah. Pope Francis uh, delivered almost immediately after his arrival a, a speech to the civil authorities and those who influence culture here. It, it seemed very focused on Portugal, but his message was for Europe. What were your thoughts of this speech today? I mean, I think it was a, a very deep speech. He talked to Portugal, certainly, but Portugal is a country that is a frontier between Europe and the world. No? The, the, the history of Portugal is a history of discoveries, of travels, and I think the Pope was talking to a country that can be a good bridge between Europe and the world. And certainly, he insisted in the idea of how Europe can help to promote this, this culture of peace that he's really insisting on, and he made reference to the, to the conflict in Ukraine also because of that. Yeah. He spoke in the speech uh, about uh, the, the future of Europe, about the demographic problems, uh, but he also hit some of the key themes of his pontificate, ideological colonization, a throwaway culture. Was this uh, classic Francis, and was there anything that was sort of a surprise to you? No, I think it was, uh, there are the, the, the general themes that he's insisting, but certainly very applied to the situation of the moment. No? And he was speaking to a society like Portugal, which is really doing a lot in regarding to the environment, etc. But at the same time, is experiencing the problems that, that the Western societies have. So for, for that reason, I think the importance of uh, insisting in the future and, and in, uh, investing in our children is, is the, best, the best solution to all the other problems. Yeah. In World Youth Day, you mentioned the volunteers uh, and everything that goes into preparing it. What has it been like to organize this uh, from a social communication side? You're a, a seasoned veteran in this. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, the good thing of the volunteers working in the social media is that they, we have people from all over the world, but certainly they are youth, they're very young. So certainly they have a very fresh way of communicating, very personal way, and, and I think that helps to transmit the, the experience of the faith. No? And I think the social media is helping the pilgrims no, uh, that many times cannot be close to the Pope, <laughs> cannot be, even hear the Pope, or cannot understand the words because the Pope is speaking in Italian or in Portuguese, if it's the case. But through this social media, they will receive bits of that message and, and essentially the testimony of the life of the message of the Pope. Yeah. Well, I know you've got a rough couple of days ahead of you, so you're in our prayers and good luck. Thank you so much for everything and good luck to you. God bless.